The moment in my life when I was most transformed was in 2015 when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I always believed in God and it's easy to believe in God when everything in your life is going well. I married my college sweetheart. I had a great job and I was 100% healthy and whole. But in 2015, everything changed. The company that I worked for filed for bankruptcy and I lost my job. So I had to go on unemployment. And literally a week after that, I found a lump on my breast. Not to mention, I started having marital issues. Once I went to a doctor to follow up on the biopsy report, as I walked into the hospital, I felt a rush of wind hit me, and I heard the Holy Spirit tell me, you're not going to get good news, but I need you to be strong. As I sat in the doctor's office and the doctor told me the report isn't good, you have cancer, I couldn't even cry. I was just so shocked. But as soon as I walked out the doctor's office, I started crying so much. I couldn't even stop it. And then I felt the Holy Ghost again tell me three times, I am a healer, I am a healer, I am a healer. And when he told me that, I felt such warmth in my stomach. And for that moment, I felt so confident because I said, I know God got me and I'm going to get through this. It was tough when they told me I had cancer because because my father's parents, they both died of cancer, my grandmother and my grandfather. And I knew that it was a generational curse. And I decided it has to end here with me because I cannot let this continue to my future generations. So even though I believed in God and I know that he had my back, the enemy was whispering a lot of things in my ears, especially late at night. I will be consumed with fear and anxiety. I couldn't sleep. I woke up in cold sweats. And one night I felt the presence of God in my room so heavily. And I felt God tell me, I'm greater than cancer, Lenny. I'm greater than cancer. And at that point, I decided that's it. It has to end here. So the following day, I decided to write a whole bunch of um, healing scriptures on sticky pads and I started putting it in the cabinet doors of my kitchen and bedroom closet. So each time I opened those cabinets, I decided to read the scriptures and that's what gave me strength and started building my confidence knowing that God has my back and that I would live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. But it was a long journey. So about a year or so after receiving treatment, um, God miraculously healed my liver. There was no cancer in my liver. And the chemo that I was receiving, it shrunk the tumor on my breast, but the doctors decided not to do surgery and remove the cancer. They thought it was pointless since it was stage four cancer. As they told me, they can't cure me, but they could treat me. They never gave me any hope of survival. But three and a half years later, I'm still here. So this is what I have to testify. Back in December of 2017, I had gotten a routine um, CT scan. And unfortunately, that CT scan revealed that the disease had came back to my left breast. And I had to go back on chemo for another six months. It was a tough blow. I didn't want to go back on chemo. And not only did the cancer come back on the breast, it started to appear on the skin above my breast. So I did chemo for three months and I ended up getting a mastectomy and they removed the left breast. So on April 25th, I had surgery to remove the cancer off my breast, better known as a mastectomy. And right now I'm cancer free, but I'm currently wearing a prosthesis just to even everything out and it could look as natural as possible. Right now I'm actually going through radiation. I was required to do four weeks and I completed two and I got two more to go and I'm feeling strong and I know that God has completely healed me and delivered me and I'm just walking in faith and I'm walking by his word because he called me healed so I call myself here so right now I'm transformed and right now I have a wig but my hair's growing back and I'm just feeling stronger than ever and this is me now this is a real me god is restoring me and i just feel so good and i give god all the glory and all the honor because every day that i'm alive is a gift from god so i want you to just trust god and know that he can do the impossible if he could heal me from stage four cancer he could do anything in your life